today's devotional can be found in Alma chapter 29, verse 10. And behold, when I see many of my brethren truly penitent and coming to the Lord their God, then is my soul filled with joy, then do I remember what the Lord has done for me. Yea, even that he hath heard my prayer, yea, then do I remember his merciful arm, which he extended towards me. All right, so... Humility comes in many forms and in many ways. We are often made humble by our circumstances or by experiences that we have that don't quite turn out as we had hoped. Or humility comes from the consequences of arrogance, which many have, which many people have, and it is because they forget God and think that they can run life on their own, when in reality God has given them everything they need to be able to run life on their own. And even then, they can't do it on their own because man's intelligence is severely limited in comparison to that which God and His Spirit can give you. And men get arrogant, and they have experiences, and they have downfalls, and they crash, and everything falls apart for them, but they become humble. And they become very penitent. They realize that they are in need of God, or at least in need of some higher power <laughs> that can help them be able to know who they are, what their strengths and weaknesses are, and to help them to understand that they have li limits. And even though God does not like to see men suffer and have personal downfalls. He enjoys the fact that they eventually recognize their need for a higher power and come unto that higher power for help. Where they've used their agency to come unto him for help. And that's the best way to do it is to choose it. And our souls can be filled with joy when we come unto the Lord penitent and in need of humbling and help and strength. And if we are truly humble, we recognize that we cannot do anything without God and that the Lord died for us so that we could look beyond our imperfections and seek the help to do better without focusing on why we needed the help in the first place. If we do that, the Lord will extend his merciful arm. If we seek his help, he will extend his arm of mercy. And we can remember what the Lord has done for us. We can best remember it by living up to the potential that the atonement has unlocked and enabled us to strive for. The Lord remembers us always, and the best way we can remember Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ is to live up to our potential. We don't need to be penitent and sad and suffering. We just need to make right choices so that we aren't in need of humbling. But we also have to remember that righteousness can ascend to cockiness pretty quickly if we feel we are too righteous and better than everyone else. I mean, Satan wants us to be prideful and arrogant and think we're better than everybody else. In reality, we're not. We're just as imperfect. We're just as sinful. Just as filthy. But the atonement has worked for all of us that we all may become clean through the blood of Christ and able to look beyond our imperfections and access our potential and try to live up to that potential.
the Lord's mercy is there. We just need to remember that and reach for it and remember that Christ loved us enough to die for us and that Heavenly Father loved us enough to create a plan so that everyone can be included in life or death. And with that said, I love you all so very much and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.